Hi everyone, James here, back with another a look inside the box. This time it's the 172nd scale Airfix BAC TSR2. And on the front it has the TSR2. And then flying beside it is the English Electric Lightning. It's quite nice. The side just tells you the address of a humble product in uh, multiple languages. The uh, illustration of the aircraft again. The other side is the suggested paint colours and then a very brief history of the TSR and then saying there's one version that was actually two uh, variants and then both sides is just the picture of the TSR2 again not in the box and the the sprue sheets have been opened out the boxes as I did buy this second hand so the instruction sheet with the decals inside the plastic parts and a bag of clear parts for the canopy and there's one loose part as well so starting off with one of the plastic parts it is moulded in white so if you wanted to you could just build this without painting it but then just add the details like the the black wheels if you wanted to so you get two pilots it's an old kit the quality of them isn't isn't that great you get the two seats various other the landing gear door parts and some instrument panels here and then the, the top and lower uh, wing sections as well as the at the tail fins also the panel lines are recessed but they're very shallow it's not very picking this up very well it's quite shallow next is the two fuselage halves Again, the, the panel lines are very shallow but recessed. Going over quickly, the it's free from flash. It's crisp and clean. The next sprue sheet is various air intakes, inlets and outlets. Uh, ordnance and the last sprue sheet for the main aircraft it's the lower fuselage half some more cockpit interior wheels Landing gear, early nose. Again, crisp, clean, free from flash. It's the loose part. And then the clear parts of the canopy. They are quite clear and crisp, there's no flash 
got no imperfections or markings on them. I will leave them in the bag. I don't, don't want them to get scratched. That's the canopy. Next, moving on to the decals. Uh, they're crisp and clear. The register is okay at a distance, but if you get look at them close up, they're, they're not very good. You get the um, quite a bit of common stencil data. The walkway uh, indicating lines, some various cut instrument decals. Has the um, the registrations and then the roundels. So the stencil and the common uh, decals. The instrument the roundels and then the walkway. That's the decals. And then lastly, moving on to the instructions. On the front you have the um, BAC TSR2 Big Airfix logo. <coughs> the the box art picture, which is quite nice. And then one seventy second scale scale model construction kit. At the bottom with the Humbrol products address again down there. Now opening up just the again the brief history in English and then multiple languages down there. Uh, multiple languages and in English just some um, assembly instructions. And then down the bottom, the assembly icon symbols. Over the page again, steps one, you start off as usual with the cockpit. So it's telling you to add decals and paint also. Two and three is adding more decals and painting of the figures. Steps four times two indicating to assemble the two seats and paint them. Five is adding the seats, instrument panels and figures to the cockpit tub. Step six is the start of the assembly of the air intakes and seven as well, it's the same left and right of the two fuselage halves and it's indicating here to drill a hole for the, the other version eight is I think these are weapon bays, not too sure, could be landing gear bays, that's the assembly left and right also. Nine, joining the two fuselage halves together and adding the cockpit, uh, the weapons bay I think, all the undercarriage and then the Uh, the rear engine assembly as well looks to be over the page uh, steps 10 11 and 12 are the air brakes uh, 12 is more engine assembly I think these are the um, the exhaust nozzles 13 is the assembly of the um, the rear control surfaces and the 
the exhaust nozzles here. 14 is more the rear control surfaces or the, the rear stabilizing fin. 15 is the nose cone and I think that's the pitot tube on the front. Uh, over the page again, 16 is adding more various parts, adding the cockpit canopy and the top uh, rear stabilising fin. 17 adding more various parts to the rear control surfaces. 18 and 19 is the assembly of the wheels and again times two indicating to do two lots. 20 and 21 and 22 is the assembly of the, the wheels and the landing gear LEOs. It's 23 adding more uh, various antenna and fins. 24 is the assembly of some ordnance and 25 is adding landing gear uh, more Uh, possibly air brakes, I'm not too sure, and then fitting uh, another piece of the the under fuselage once the landing gear's gone in. Over the page, steps 26 is adding more air brakes and the, the weapons bay and then have the option of I think that's an empty weapons bay or with the, the ordnance in 27 is adding all the landing gear doors So that's all the assembly steps, all 27, and then the last piece on the rear of the instruction book is the decal placement area, indicating uh, there's only two aircraft, I believe, in existence. That is the one at RF. Museum Cosford and then the one the second one also at IWM Duxford that's the one I'm going to do for all the Duxford series the Duxford gets one registration number and then Cosford you have you've got the choice of two XR219 or XR220 To the top, you have the uh, the Cosford registration and then the various stencil and common data, as well as the the walkway lines here. And again for the bottom, and again for the other side. Just here, there's a question mark indicating, and then on the bottom also. You have the options for the Crossford or the Duxford. So that is the look inside the box of the Airfix 172nd scale TSR2. Thanks for watching.